Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA Save. On this episode, we're going to do something a little bit different because we've never done it before, and we're going to take some time and explore this together, and I think it'll be some fun. Uh, before we get into that, just a heads up for you. Uh, I realized when I signed the Midnight Rockers, I did not sign them to exclusive written deals. I'd only signed them to written deals, so we're waiting to hear back from them on the exclusive deals. Luckily for us, nobody else has put a bid on them yet, so it should be a done deal. Also, since we're losing Nelson Royal, we're going to bring in another heel, and that's going to be the Zebra Kid. Zebra Kid was a big-time independent wrestler. He was a junior heavyweight wrestler, a smaller wrestler. His real name escapes me at the moment. It was Kevin something. Um, actually, he passed away just two years ago. He was in his late 60s, maybe even his early 70s. And he was around for a long time. He was a very, very good wrestler. He had wrestled under his real name for many years. And then in the late 70s, early 80s, he adopted the Zebra Kid persona. He was a uh, mainstay in the Midwest. He also traveled other territories around the country. And he was a really, really good wrestler. Excuse me. And a really entertaining wrestler. So we're going to bring him in for our light heavyweight division. Uh, also, since we've lost Sherry Martell, we are going to attempt to bring in Baby Doll, who is a free agent here, and pair her with Doug Summers and Kevin Kelly and potentially Nick Konichki also. I think she'd be a good fit. You know, she was a good babyface valet, but she was also a really good heel valet too. So we're going to attempt to bring her in to help uh, fill the void that was lost from Sherry Martell. Obviously, two very different types of women. But we'll see if it works out for us. Okay, so with that said, we are going to begin working on Wrestle Rock 88 here. Okay, the original Wrestle Rock, Wrestle Rock 86, was held in the Hubert Humphrey uh, Metrodome or whatever it was called in uh, Minnesota. And this was a huge 16 match card. It was almost like a festival type atmosphere. They had midget matches, they had women's matches, they had Japanese wrestlers that they brought in. They had all that brought in for the match. So, what I did for us is I took our co current feuds, right? And I plugged them in, because this will be the blow-off for our big feuds taking place right now. And I also left room where we can bring in other wrestlers, outside wrestlers, through talent trades. So right now, we need to bring in several outside wrestlers. Now, the kick for us is that this card, and we'll double check here, but I'm pretty certain it's being held on a Saturday. It is. It's held on a Saturday, week three of May 1987. So we could potentially, even if we're doing these talent trades, we may potentially not be able to use the wrestlers because they might not be available. So let's dive into this. It's a 16-match card. We already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of those matches fully completed with our talent. Okay? Now, I've even worked out the times to match the original. So this will get us at 3 hours and 30 minutes like the original show was. Uh, you can see it's not what we're used to with longer matches. But again, this is what we're dealing with. Now, I could split this to a two-day event, but I don't see why. Maybe in the future. Right now, I want to try it to run it at least this time as realistic and close to how it was um, and see how that works out for us. So we are going to look for somebody to wrestle Kurt Hennig for the World Heavyweight title since Sergeant Slaughter is out of the promotion now and will be out of the promotion at this point. We're going to find somebody to bring in to wrestle the Guerrero Brothers. We're going to find somebody to come in and challenge Steve Regal for the World Light Heavyweight title. And then we have a couple other matches. I would like to make at least one of them a tag team match. And we have our tag teams we can use, but I also want to see what's out there with our friends and our alliance. And just have a world of opportunity here. So let's take a look at our alliance, okay? So here we go, and we should have alliances written somewhere here. 
There's talent trades, all right, just standard talent trades. And where is Alliance? I always get so confused. There it is. I always get so confused. All right, let's take a look at world class. And we'll propose an Alliance loan. Now, the cool thing with being part of an Alliance is you can just randomly loan people. You just have to pay them. Um, the bad part with Alliance loans, as you've seen with the uh, Jerry Lawler predicament with uh, Championship Wrestling Association, or Continental, if they still are at this point, is that they won't let you abuse it. You can't do it all the time, which I think is ridiculous. That's the whole purpose of being an alliance, is you can use those wrestlers all the time, but that's not the way they see it here. So I think in the game that Kerry Von Erich is back. I don't think he's injured any longer. So we are going to definitely try to loan Kevin Von Erich here. There he is. He's been added. We're going to try to loan Kerry Von Erich here. So we're going to have Kevin or Kerry wrestle Kurt Hennig for the world heavyweight title, who's ever available. And let's take a look at the uh, roster here. There's Gilbert Guerrero, father of Rocky Guerrero. And let's see if there's anybody else that we want here that could wrestle. Steve Regal for the World Junior Heavyweight title. Um, not really seeing anybody here. They got some good wrestlers here that I like. Vince Apollo is an option for us. So let's write that down. He is an option for us. Uh, let's try to bring in the Fantastics. So there's Tommy Rogers. And his partner, Bobby Fulton. And I think that they would have an excellent lights-out match with the Guerrero brothers. So that solves that right there. Now, again, it all depends on if they're available. And I know both the Fantastics work for a bunch of other promotions, too. Okay, let's take a look here and see who else we could look for in the CWA. I'd like to bring in Jeff Jarrett. I'd like to bring in Jeff Jarrett to work Steve Regal. So, we're going to potentially pencil in here Kerry Von Erich versus Kurt Hennig. Okay, that leaves us with Kevin Von Erich now. And let's see who else here from the CWA that we could use. Rocky Johnson. Um, this gets interesting, doesn't it? We have a lot of the same talent since we've had such a long relationship with them. Why don't we bring in the sheep herders? Butch Miller and Luke Williams. And we could have them work one of our tag teams. Why don't we have the sheep herders wrestle
So you have the Sheep Herders wrestle Cactus Jack and Dream Machine. Okay, that'll be a good match. Now we have Cactus Jack versus Tom Zank. Let's change this to Tom Zank versus Kevin Von Erich. Okay, and we have one more match to fill here. And let's see if there's another light heavyweight that we could bring in. Got the rock and roll RPMs. Uh, let's go back to world class. Eli the Eliminator was a good hand. Mad Max. Yeah, this is this is interesting. Um Texas Red, the Grappler. They got a great roster here. Tony Atlas. Uh let's see here. Do we have the Baron on this card? I believe we do. Yeah, Kevin Kelly versus Baron Von Rotsky. Why don't we bring in Mad Max, Eli the Eliminator, and have him wrestle DJ Peterson? Okay, excellent. The only thing is we don't want them to have a five-minute match, but we can adjust that later. So we have now built Wrestle Rock 88, everybody. And this truly is a super card because we're bringing in the wrestlers from other promotions. So let's check Wrestle Rock 88 itself here. There it is. So three hours and 30 minutes, which means we'll have the overage so we can bump up the match lengths, which we're going to have to. Uh, ticket pricing, we'll keep it at normal. And venue, the venue we are going to run, like I said, we're going to run Comiskey Park. in Chicago. And of course it's not in the game. So watch this. Go over to import because I know I've put this in the game before. There it is. Here we import it. No problem. Now we go back to events. There's Wrestle Rock, Modify Event, Fix Venue, Illinois, Comiskey Park. The third week of May is a fine time to have a match, a show outside in Chicago. All right, so there we go. Wrestle Rock is set, and we are now just three weeks out from it. So that's the prep, everybody, for Wrestle Rock 88. And I hope if you plan on doing something like this for your own save, that you can uh, learn from how we just did that one. Now, like I said, 
we'll adjust these times because we're not going to have Mad Max versus DJ Peterson in five minutes. It's not going to happen. And, and right now, you know what, while we're sitting here, we are going to change him over to Mad Max. And there it is. There's his alter ego. But I'm going to use his other picture. He was a big dude. A bad dude. Good guy in the ring. So there we go. And he is going to work heel. And let's see the Von Erichs. They can't be anything but baby faces. Yep, there it is. And see, there's Kerry. And Kerry is not out injured, so that's good. So there it is. That's a solid, solid card. It's going to cost us some money, but it's a solid card. So, all right, that's going to do it for us here for this episode, everybody. I like the. I hope you liked the change of pace here and doing something a little bit different and showing how to build these super cards properly. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and share this video with your friends. You can join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 supermod. You can also join us for the PowerCast Network at facebook.com slash PowerCast Network. If you have not done so already and you would like version 8 of the supermod, Go to braddrake.net, drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to send you over a link to the database and the picture pack. Last but not least, you can join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Powercast Network. We have all these videos uploaded days and weeks in advance. We have some content that's not available anywhere outside of Patreon. The cheapest package starts off at $5 a month. And I'll tell you, everybody that's uh, on Patreon really likes it so far and talks very highly about it. So I hope that you'll join us over there. And everybody, thank you again for your continued loyalty and helping us to continue to grow. And I can't thank you enough. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Did you know that you could advertise on this channel? Well, you can. Call 815-290-9087 and talk to me today about advertising on our channel. We get over 3,500 hits. We also have a thriving website. We can come up with all sorts of packages for you and make things happen together. Again, that's 815-290-9087 or visit braddrake.net. <laughs>